1928, Alexander Fleming, in this lab, by chance, discovered penicillin. Alexander Fleming also warned us of the dangers of antimicrobial resistance. Antimicrobial resistance is a global crisis. The problem of antimicrobial resistance has reached alarming levels. Extensively drug resistance to tuberculosis has been identified in 105 countries. This is Armageddon. This is the end of our current regime of, of antibiotics. If we don't do something about antimicrobial resistance, in another 35 years, there could be 10 million, 10 million people a year dying. The policymakers only move when the tsunami is there. It's important to not walk away from the battlefield. We need new antimicrobials. We really need to move now, or I predict that we will wake up too late unless we really up our game. If we truly lost all our antibiotics, it would be a bomb blowing up our healthcare systems around the world. To protect our antibiotics, we do need science, but we also need people. We've got to all of us change. We really need to change our behaviors. There is a danger that the microbes will be educated to resist penicillin. There are multiple factors driving antimicrobial resistance, and we need to tackle these with every direction. This is all about impact. Doing it on an individual basis, you're not going to see the impact that warrants to address this crisis. We are taking a very radical new approach in addressing this global challenge of antimicrobial resistance. The Fleming Center is unique. We will bring in both the public and the patient, because they are the main drivers for change, policy and science, all together in a single building. We need to engage globally with citizens and to change in behaviors in terms of the use and the misuse of antibiotics. The Fleming Center is the first center that sandwiches science, engagement with policy changes. By implementing this approach, I envisage a world in which we will continue to use antibiotics safely and effectively.